What brought me to call pro media training is that I had a terrible situation with an A&R in which I got chewed out in a session because I was not moving fast enough in Pro Tools. And I respected everything that the A&R was saying. And instead of fighting back or anything, I just took it and then started looking up where can I get better training and how can I become faster at Pro Tools. So I'm Eddie Roberts. I'm an audio engineer at the Village Recording Studios in Los Angeles, California. Some of the most exciting projects that I've done so far from Danila Perez, Chris Alita, in which I'm Grammy nominated for currently. I've been able to uh, vocal tune on the new show, George and Tammy, that is coming out on Showtime. Uh, this year, I also currently released an album that I fully engineered, uh, Brockhampton's TM, which was their final album. Uh, it really meant a lot for me because we were able to do a lot of live instruments, a lot of in-the-box things. Uh, but I recorded piano live, drums live, synthesizers live. Uh, so it was a very special al album because I dealt with a lot of talented and creative people. I'm originally from Cleveland, Ohio. What inspired me to become an audio engineer was the process of how hit records were made. I started off by DJing in clubs across Cleveland and also all around Ohio. My training has gotten me faster. I have learned shortcuts and different tools that I never even fathom. Uh, before entering into pro media training. My mindset on how or why I do things because of the training that has been given to me or some of the questions that I asked in class has definitely improved my skills and I'm getting more sessions because of it. My confidence has, has shot through the roof. When I used to enter into to sessions, I was ready to go in and record, but I didn't know how the session would turn out because of my speed and because of the interaction that I had, I was always kind of nervous on if I was gonna be quick enough or if I was gonna be good enough for that session. After taking a lot of the classes at Pro Media Training, I enter into all of my sessions with way more confidence than I've ever had, uh, knowing that I know Pro Tools in and out, whether if it's a troubleshooting issue, whether if it's flying vocals over someplace, whether if it's comping vocals quickly, um, just anything and everything I need to know how to do in Pro Tools, Pro Media Training has taught me that. I have found myself using the mouse less and less and being able to fly around with shortcuts more, which makes me quicker. And to be able to learn the shortcuts that you need to navigate around Pro Tools quickly is super, super important, especially if you're trying to get a call back. So knowing it as just, I know how to open up a session and I know how to capture sound is a completely different ball game than recording actual artists that are under labels where time is money. Um, and things are sometimes against the wire, maybe 24 hours before it's supposed to be released. And to kind of just lightly go around Pro Tools isn't gonna to cut it with these artists or these record labels. Studios and artists will trust you to come into the room, no matter what room it is, as long as Pro Tools is on the computer, you'll be able to run it fully. Why Pro Tools is so difficult to learn just on your own is because there are so many layers to it, whether it's just the signal flow, of uh, different ways on how to record, different ways on how to comp vocals or different tracks that you are recording. There's so many different layers to it um, and so many different ways to edit. Um, you have to have some kind of guidance in order to fully understand a program to be the best engineer or the best recording artist that you can be with Pro Tools. I'd like to give a special shout out to Pro Media Training for all the inspiration and confidence that they have given me. Thank you guys so much for inspiring me to become the best engineer that I am today.